loves me. He loves me not. saw Daisy on Rock of Love 2. Man, I was just like, that, that's what's up. If Brett Michaels don't pick her ass, I would slap the shit out of him if I seen him. Daisy is so beautiful. She's like five feet tall, big fake boobs, blonde hair, big lips. She's my perfect girl. So I'm standing there seeing this huge black mega stretch limo come up the driveway. Palms are getting sweaty. Yam's getting a little tingly. I'm like, oh, my heart's beating 100 miles per hour. I'm like, oh, here she comes. I can't wait. Oh. <laughs> Hold on a second. Are you guys expecting something a little bit prettier? Friggin' Ricky Rackman comes out, man. It was like a total boner kill. It was like, ugh. Welcome to Daisy's house. My name is Ricky Rackman. I was the dean on Charm School. I also hosted the Rock of Love reunion. When I saw Rock of Love 2, I saw a genuine woman that got her heart broken. I'm here to make sure that that doesn't happen again. I've been a part of the rock scene for like 20 years, and I've seen every line that any guy can use on a chick, every dirty little trick. I may have tried some of them myself, but there's no way these guys are gonna get those past me. If you guys are thinking that you're gonna want more TV time and you're here to become a TV star, Uh, 12 pack, right? <laughs> Everybody, it's me. 12 pack. I've already been on two shows. I Love New York and I Love Money. When I was on I Love Money out in Mexico, I got to do a little uh, interview with her. I think Daisy's probably one of the hottest females alive. I came here for Daisy. I came here to find love. How many of you guys are musicians? Cool. Your band suck. I don't want to hear about it anymore, okay? We're here for Daisy. It's inside that house. What are you waiting for? So I come into this house and I see guitars everywhere. I see the style, I see the pool table. As soon as you walk into the main area, looks like she's got this whole uh, stage set up. I'm like, what is this? Daisy looks absolutely jaw-dropping, man. I, I was pitching a tent, I'm not gonna lie. Hello, boys! I'm very, very excited to have you guys all here. And from the looks of it, I can definitely see some rock stars in this crowd. I've had my heart broken, and I've been a heartbreaker, and I'm sure you guys have too. But I want to let you guys know that I'm here to find love. Go ahead and find your rooms, take a look around, get some drinks, and I guess I'll see you guys later. Yeah. <laughs> Daisy tells everybody, go find your bedroom. Of course, I've done this before, so I go and I take my single bed right in the primo room right by the corner. That works. Oh. Not only am I here, but my roommate Brandon's here too. Oh, well, we try to grab the top ball trip. Yeah. All the other guys are at a disadvantage because we came up here as best friends. All right. All right. But, uh, Let's face it, you're in a house with a bunch of rockers. So something crazy's about to go down. Did anybody even look for the room? No. No, no. 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 <laughs> I could give a shit about finding a room. I just beelined it right for the bar. Yeah. Help. Help. 
yeah. That's how Jersey oh, does it. Oh, man, I don't even think half these people even came to a room yet, dude. Nah, they just started drinking around with that. Yeah, bro, some people are gonna be sloppy tonight, man. At this point, I was feeling pretty damn drunk. Either I'm really shit-faced beyond belief, or there's really three teased-out, poison-looking motherfuckers standing in front of me right now. All your guys' hair looks like totally identical. They tease it, dude. Wigs. Are they wigs? No, no, no. no it's not oh, wigs. Wigs. They're real? That was real. That was good. We're triplets. We are rock and roll stars back in Sweden. Our band is called Snake of Eden. We're real partiers. Like, we like to drink and we're always getting ridiculous and crazy. I saw the hairband boys stealing all of our food. Those bastards probably don't have food back in Sweden, I guess. Time for some drinking, and me and the boys, we're gonna hang out like loose teeth tonight. This is the party mansion right here. <laughs> the only thing we need is guy with a purple and red mohawk, he says the stupidest, most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. It's like, the guy is just an idiot. He needs to leave. You see how hot Daisy is? Yeah. This guy wasn't here for Daisy, so of course I'm gonna gang up on that guy. He's a douchebag. That's like disrespectful. That guy needs to leave. What's happening, guys? Hold on, boss! Yeah. Leave your drinks in here and follow me inside. I think I might have to grab me another cold beer. Wow. <laughs> so what I want to do is give you guys a nickname to show off your personalities. I'm going to give these guys a nickname based on whatever kind of vibe they're giving me. Yeah. You. What's your name? My name is Crazy Mike. Crazy Mike? Why do they call you Crazy Mike? Ah, because I'm crazy about you. Oh. And I'm crazy in general. Okay. But. I think, I don't know, I'm thinking either nuts. Yeah, well, you know what? <laughs> I'm nuts. I know, I, I really don't like No, you don't have to show your nuts, though. Well, nope. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, you get the point. You can put your pants back on. <laughs> There's only one person in this house that should be wearing a thong, and that's me. It's a man thong. It's a man thong. He was wearing man panties for crying out loud. I love your hair. I love your lips. Makes me want to do back flips. Oh my gosh! Come on, babe! Flipper! Yay! Flipper! Ow! I like that. Because it's like, it's, yeah. Can you say douchebag on TV? I really think that guy's really crazy. I think you might <laughs> like, be right. You right there are looking like you're going to be next. So this guy steps up, and I'm like, whoa, totally hot. Totally my style. He's even got a little eyeliner on it. I'm like, wow, I like. I am a rock and roll singer. Our when kind of are stuff. you singing me some right now? Oh! Oh, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna call him London. London, London. Because he reminds me of a like London hot punk rocker. I'll take that, I'll take that. That's cool, I'm all right. I wanna bring up these three little blondes right now. It's like, get your asses up here. Oh my gosh, where are you guys from? Sweden. And you love her accent. Yeah. I, oh, I do. I cannot understand one word the triplets are saying. I want to have a good time here and uh, a good time. See, see if, if it can be like yeah. Uh, what happens if what happens if I'm into one of your brothers though? It's like a Swedish smorgasbord. Oh, that's so creepy with yeah. brothers. <laughs> so they're basically here to date me together. It's like buy one, get two free. I'd like to call them 84, 85, and 86. I love because it! Because that's the last time that it was okay to look like that. Go. Hello, you. I'm a singer. I play bass in a band currently. This is a dark rocker guy, and he needs a dark rocker name. So I'm going to call him Sinister. Woo! What's your name? I'm Paulie. Paulie? Where are you from? I'm from the coast of New Jersey. Put a bandana and a cowboy hat on that guy, and I'm standing in front of Brett Michaels right now. But that's okay, because that's kind of hot, too. What was the name of 
Polly Shore. Weasel! A weasel! I'm oh, pretty much fucked now, huh? I'm known as Weasel. <laughs> I am so not gonna argue with Weasel. Weasel! 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 weasel. Like weasel bud. I can do it, buddy! I like that. This naming stuff is like really hard because you have to like think of all these names. Hi, how are you? Good, and you? His hair looked like it was on fire. Torch? Okay. <laughs> You're in college right now? No, I've taken a break. Dropout. Okay. I'm a rebel, troublemaker. It fits. At least my name wasn't Weasel. I want to take you out and dance. Do you like, do you dance? Yeah, it's supposed to move like. Mm -hmm. That's very cute of you. I'm a high school teacher. Professor. I'm a gym manager. Let me see your guns. <laughs> I am a sucker for guys with nice bodies. Flex. Oh, wow. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. I don't like that. Flex. 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 I would love to fall in love with with her, Aww, she's so beautiful. Thank and you. You're from Chicago? Yeah. I was hoping not to get like a name like Snuggle Fabric Softener or something. I'm gonna call you Chi Chi. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't like that because that means titties in Spanish. I mean, come on. <laughs> okay. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you, Chi Chi. And I am a exotic dancer. Though. Can I have just like one move? Just one move. Whoa, awesome. Big, strong, sexy, bulging muscles everywhere. Definitely cute. Definitely got a lot of potential. I'm thinking toolbox. Okay, toolbox. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. No. Yay, Brooklyn. Hats off to you. So I'm a cable technician and a DJ by trade. I'm thinking cable guys. Oh, <laughs> well, duh. I, I'll, I drive, I drive uh, 18 wheelers and stuff. So. Big rig. Big rig. That's what's up, man. Ball, ball. Well, first, I just want to say you look beautiful. And Ricky, it's very nice meeting you, my friend. Okay. Okay. So when you look at this guy's face, it looks like he lost a fight with a staple gun. Listen, I've never asked this of a guy in my entire life, but are there any other places that you've got piercings? <gasps> oh, yeah. Ooh. Do you have it? Uh, Do you really have is it a Prince the... Albert? Prince Albert. Six gauge. A right six on. gauge? A six gauge is basically the size of my thumb. Can you show me what that might no. be? Every time I see this guy, I'm only going to be thinking about his yoo-hoo, so... I gotta call him six gauge. Holding it, okay. Obviously, you're gonna be next. You're fucking gorgeous. Thank Amazing. You. I mean, you're not so bad yourself. Well, thank you. Well, it's not about me, it's about you. Oh, well, you know, I, I like you already. I like you already. <laughs> me, yeah. Hotty hotness in front of me right now. Definitely, definitely sexy. Well, I would like to call you Fox because you are a fucking stone cold fox. So let's Absolutely. get your ass up here. Fox doesn't get better than that. Quick and sly. Fox. Cheers. <laughs> okay, I will see you later. See you later. Okay. A lot of guys. I'm so sorry. Pace yourself, Daisy. Pace yourself. Oh, yeah. Is that a tattoo? Yeah, it's a tattoo. Oh, don't. Why are you, like, scared about it? It's like, that's the first thing everyone questions me about. Dude, it says fight or die on your neck. Yes. Okay? It says fight or die on your neck. What do you do? I'm a professional cage fighter. Awesome. Cage. <laughs> mm-hmm. What is your name? My name is Dave. Mm-hmm. Or what? Or 12 pack. Or 12 pack. As, as I'm known, of course. I can't believe 12 packs here. Like, I met him in Mexico for I Love Money. Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Daisy, and I'm here with the lovely Mr. 12 Pack. And I don't know, there was a little chemistry there, but he hooked up with Heather! She tried to kick my ass at the reunion show. <laughs> Twelve Pack has got a long way to go before he earns my trust. I didn't come here for TV. I didn't come here with a speedo on. As soon as I heard about this, I chose to be here. Oh, I wanted to come be on your show. Nah, 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 nah. I'm like, all right. I'm gonna be brutally honest, okay? First time I saw you, I wasn't even sure if you were the chicks. I was on I Love New York, I'll admit, I wasn't really attracted to her. I didn't even know for the first four or five episodes it was even a woman. Let me see. Is you, do you got a 12-pack? Uh, it's sort of still here a little well, bit. Well, let's freaking see it. Okay. 
That's pretty awesome. I know me and Daisy are gonna hit it off because the chick is just my style of girl. If I see a girl and I think like, man, she's gonna maybe cheat on me or just do horrible things with me, then I'm probably like, I think I could really be with this chick. All right, cool. Well, I will see you later. Don't get me wrong, 12 pack is hot, but I still have my guard up. What do you think? This is really, actually, really, really hard, to be honest with you, because now I'm meeting all of them, and like, some of them are so, like, so I met all 20 of the guys, gave them their cute new little nicknames, but unfortunately, some of them are not gonna make it until tomorrow. And I'm like, how many, I'm sorry, I have to get rid of five? That, that's like really hard. Now I gotta decide which five of these guys I gotta send packing. God, I hate making decisions. This having your own TV show thing is way harder than I thought it was gonna be. Well, let's mingle. Awesome. Let's mix. So I get outside to the party, and the first guys that want to talk to me are Flipper and Big Rig. What brings you here to find love? And just like you, you know, you've had your heart broken and everything, which should I have too. My last relationship ended because the bitch couldn't keep her legs closed. So, I mean, it's kind of like, you know, hey. Sorry, guys, but uh, What's me and Cable guy, we just need to interrupt What's real quick. What's going on? We got guys here that are just storming her like a bunch of horny dogs or something and haven't got laid in a couple months. So it was really tough to get her alone. You know what, I want to know about your tattoo. Like, what's going on with that? These are, uh, these are family members that died. That's my mom and my grandparents. I didn't put my dad on there because when he died, I didn't really know him. He was in jail my whole life, so I didn't really oh know him. Oh my gosh. Cage is a totally interesting person. If you saw him in the alley, you'd probably run, but he seems really sensitive and he just needs a hug. Do you have tattoos? No, I don't have any. The strange thing is nowadays by me not being all tatted up, I'm kind of, you know, I kind of stand out in that sense and that's it. So you dig in Hollywood? Yeah. Fuck yeah. You know, I gotta ask you guys this, honestly. There's three of you, there's one Daisy. I'm say How serious can you guys be to meet Daisy when the three of you all come together, you know what I mean? If you, I'm, I'm gonna say for a fun time and, and then see what's happening. If Daisy yeah. loves us, then... I, I'm not that kind of da dating else. kind of guy. The triplets, they're all 80s and glam. They look like girls, but they're men. They're kind of cute, though. I'll take them home. I'm gonna say for a fun time yeah. and get free booze and... I know you keep on grabbing all the free food. Oh wait, are you guys just here because now you go, you go, let's go here because there's lots of free food. We're gonna get as much food and booze as we can and then we're done, right? Fox. So, you know, I just wanna say, you know, you're highly, highly, fucking adorably amazing. Thank you. So Fox pulls me aside and I am so ready to go. You're Daisy. You're the epitome, you're, you're the, the name, name of Daisy. Daisy. When, when I, I think, think of the name, name Daisy, Daisy you, you are, are Daisy. Daisy. You know, your name is who you are. I really don't know what he's talking about exactly, but it doesn't really matter because he's really hot. Yummy. What's up, Ricky? What's happening, brother? Pleasure. How are you? So me and Chi-Chi pulled Ricky aside. One of my main goals today is to get on Ricky's good side. Have you guys noticed anything interesting that we can tell Daisy about? Yeah, yes. tell me. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta tell you something. What? The, the dude with the cotton candy mohawk or whatever, as soon as we were partying together and stuff and all hanging out, he was already like, all we need is some bitches and all this shit. Total party foul. Where's all the bitches? I'm a Daisy, not a bitch. I want to ask you a question. Of course. I had maybe heard from a little birdie that you came out here. And I said, where are the bitches at? Mm hmm What, what was that about? It's just the way I talk. It's just the way. What do you mean? I mean, I mean, it is what it is. Like, I do what I do. But if any guy ever talked to me like that and called me a bitch, his ass is fucking gone for sure, because I am not that kind of girl that you can talk to like that. I am the girl that calls the shots. I hope what I said doesn't ruin my chances with Daisy. I might be that loser, man, that walked in the house full of confidence, and now, wow, I might be going home. Hi! So, I decided to sit over and have a conversation with Torch. Since we have this opportunity, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? <sighs> <sighs> hmm. How's it me? Well, I'm from Canada. And? Hello, baby. Hi. Hi. 
I've been trying to make my two cents to be put in, but I don't think I'm being aggressive enough. I came here looking for love, you know, and I know off the bat, you're looking for the real thing. And I just want you to know that I'm here for you a thousand percent. So my hat's off to you always. Chris Casanova, AKA Brooklyn. <laughs> Look at you. That is Swahili for... Swahili, that she's hot. Swahili, you... Torch has some really crazy hair. What's up with him? I automatically think this guy's totally drunk. Are you Swahili? Well, no, but you know what? Throw a Coke bottle in my head. So, what have I learned from this fascinating conversation with Torch? He's from Canada, and he clicks like a dolphin. I need to get Daisy's attention. There was 20 of us, and everybody's after her, and I couldn't get her attention. Watch me get her attention. All right, go ahead. It, yeah, go ahead, dude. What's up, guys? Sorry to bother you, but I've been trying to get your attention all day, and it's hard with these 19 perverts. So check it. You're going to watch me. I'm oh going to get God, your attention. I'm scared. I don't really think you should do that, though. Oh, crap. Oh, my God, what is he freaking doing? I have no idea. Dude, you're going to... Oh my God, please be careful. Hey, Stella, this is for you, babe. Look at this guy. <gasps> You're gonna watch me. I'm oh gonna get God, your attention. Scared. So all of a sudden, Flipper starts climbing up the little lighting post thingy, and I'm like, what the heck is this guy doing right now? I don't really think you should do that, though. Wow. <laughs> What is he no, freaking doing, that, dude? Dude, you're gonna... I have no idea. Oh my god, please be careful! I'm petrified he's gonna hurt himself. I don't want anybody to hurt themselves. Hey, Stella, this is for you, babe! <gasps> Are you okay? Are you okay? Oh my god, that's why I called you Flipper. <laughs> now you made me all wet. That's <laughs> what I do. I don't know, there's something about him that I think is kind of cute and sweet, but... Dang, Mustang, calm down. Wow. You're uh, so, playing Russian roulette here. So Weasel London, they drink the most of anybody. Oh, God. This is where it gets a little bit blurry for me. I'm going to the bathroom and get my, my cigarettes. Where's the bathroom? <laughs> Spot. Yes. Oh, I and love that. Flex and Professor, they seem pretty cute. Dropout, I don't know. It's kind of pale. It's kind of goofy. Tell me about you. My name's Tristan. Tristan? Yes. If, if I meet you in a club and I go, my name's like Tristan. Like a cracker. I love them. It's like I like Trisket. <laughs> Did she really just call him Trisket? Man, this is really not good for this guy. So do you like to club? I totally love to go to clubs. Do you guys like Babe, I saw you earlier when I walked in the, the house. Uh -huh. You were totally like, you had your choreography down. Thank you for Babe, I know you so. practiced for hours. Babe. Sorry. Babe. <laughs> no, it's cute. It's cute. Everyone was sucking up to her calling her Daisy, so I started calling her Babe. Maybe to stand out. It's just something I do. Well, we're right. here for you, honestly. OK, that's, that's awesome. Thank you very much. Dropout is trying so hard to be cool that he is Uncool. I think he did pretty good. I was happy. Hey, buddy. Hey, hey, hey. Yo. You all right, dude? Yeah, I'm gonna do Dude, it's the first night and you're puking all over the bathroom, man. I mean, come on. Are we here to have like a who gets the you know most drunk contest? Or are we here to win love from Daisy? I've been here for three years. For three years. Yeah. I three like years. that. Oh my gosh, you guys are adorable. So is it is it really, really true if you guys all come together? It's like at all times. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, always, we're always together. We always stick together. If she likes one of us, she likes all of us because we're the same guy, almost. See, like, what happens if I started to like you? Does that does that automatically mean that you guys always You're gonna have to like come? us too? As much as I think the triplets are great. There's three of them, and there's only one of me. <laughs> I, I'm sorry I have to interrupt the Mbop triplets for a second. Uh, These triplets are totally, totally insane. I mean, 
I don't know if they're girls or guys. See you later. <laughs> I finally get some alone time with Daisy. I mean, she's looking good. I had a few drinks in me. I've been thinking about this moment for the last, like, three months. I can't even believe I'm here. Believe me. You don't even understand when I first walked out. Well, here. okay, first of all, though. I've already done this, and I <gasps> Yeah, with... Yeah, I'm just listening okay. to me for a sec. <laughs> I'm trying to think how to put this. <laughs> the first second I saw you on Rock 11, when you were talking to Brett in the VIP with your little hat, whatever you had on, I hit you up on MySpace. That's true. <laughs> and then I heard that you were getting a show or whatever so I can come compete for you. I went out of my way to be here. I'm in great shape. I look good. I'm not retarded out of my mind like most of these other guys. Either you're at the top of the food chain or you're at the bottom. I'm going straight to the top, but some of these other guys, see you. I chose to be out here. Okay, well, that's all you get. <laughs> so, 12 pack has some game, but I'm a player too, and it's gonna take more than just some smooth talk to win me over. Just to make sure that you spoke to everybody, okay? Ricky takes me over, talk to Weasel, and just like Torch, I could not understand one word this crazy guy was saying. What's up, Daisy? What's going on? Are you doing okay? No, I'm not. What's wrong with you? Got me a little bagged up. Like, drunk? Oh, yeah, what? it's my bad. How much did you have in the drink? Sorry. Two bottles of Jack Daniels. <gasps> Weasel got carried away, but under his drunken liquor mumbo jumbo, there could have been an apology. Drink some water and hopefully you will feel better. Trust me. And if you need me to hold your hair back, I don't know, I might be there. <laughs> so before I can make a decision on who goes home tonight, I need to go find London. Where are you? London calling. Finally, I find London. Passed out on the floor like a friggin' crime scene. <sighs> oh no, oh no, oh no, no. I'm still feeling dizzy, having some issues. Mm, boys, this is Daisy of Love, not I Love Liquor. Guys, listen, I think Daisy has something she'd like to say right now. Unfortunately, I think there's actually some people that can go right now. You know what? I'm here really looking for love, and I don't have time to waste on people who I know it just is not going to work. Those guys are going to be... The triplets. And I just wanna say that I really think you guys are really, really awesome and you're adorable. But right now in my life, I'm sort of looking for something different and that's love. And let's face it, sharing them, ew. Come up here and please give me a hug. And I hope that we will be friends at least a friend. Don't, don't cry, they say don't we cry. Might, that's my ass though. <laughs> guys, seriously, before you guys leave, feel free to grab any food that you want, okay? Yeah. You can take food Come with on. you, okay? <laughs> I had a fun time. Yeah. That's yeah. all that matters. Yeah. Free stuff, free beers, free, beers, free food, fun time. Do not that feast, Daisy. All right, guys, you feeling pretty good right now? Yeah. After she says three guys are going home, I feel pretty safe, pretty on top of the world. It's like I'm here to rock the house another night. You know what's next? What's up? Uh, elimination. Two more of you guys are going home tonight. Two more cats are going home. And I was like, fuck me running. Hey, I know you're not afraid. I can't believe he's this fucked up. I can't believe he's this drunk either. Holy shit. Weasel ends up drinking so much that he passes out on his bunk, right? Weasel, wake your ass up. Me and the couple other guys just find this a perfect opportunity, you know, right on his face, make him look retarded just in time for elimination so we can get somebody else out of here.
weasel. I have kind of bad eyesight, but I'm not quite sure. What's going on with your face? I'm not Dude, quite sure what happened. Explain that. What's up with your face? What? What's up, man? <laughs> Does he know? No. no. You didn't look in a mirror before you came out here? Not at all. Weasel's sitting there fucking barely able to stand, shit all over his face, you know what I mean? This guy's, he's definitely going home. Unfortunately, two of you will be going home tonight. All right, I'm gonna start with the first chain, and this is gonna go to a guy that I immediately had a connection with, Fox. You please step over here. Thank you very much, I appreciate that. I'm totally flabbergasted. Mm -hmm. Fox, will you stay in this house and be my rock star? Absolutely. Winning the first chain, I feel so confident. This is gonna be an easy landslide. This next chain is gonna go to a pretty good looking guy. Definitely has some good muscles, so... Lex? Do you, are you having a good time? Very. Awesome. Thank you, Daisy. Flex is here to stay. This next handsome devil let me in on some interesting information about himself, maybe more than I wanted to know. So, six gauge, would you stay in this house and be my rock star? I'd love to. Thank you. Thank you. I was afraid he was gonna hang it from somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> mm, all right, Chi Chi. Thank Absolutely. you. Chi Chi gets his chain before me. I'm a little jealous about that. Sinister. And then boom, I get a chain. I'm stoked. Big Red. Boom, boom. Thank you. There's still some bizarre questions that I have about this person, but there's something that I find kind of cute and charming. So, Flipper. Woo! I give it a 0.0. .0. That was embarrassing. Just really tone your craziness just a smidge down. Um, I'll try, you know. 12 pack. I still have my concerns about you, but I definitely want to get to know you more, so would you stay in this house? I got my chain, made it through the first night, so game on. Cage? Oh, yeah. yeah. Everybody's getting their chains, and everybody's happy and sighing, and whew. Professor? I'm nervous, I'm sweating. My heart's still going 100 miles an hour. Cable guy? I got six guys, and I only have four chains. The chains are flying, and at this point, I'm looking over that box saying, Weasel's going home tonight. Brooklyn. Toolbox. I would like to give you more time to prove me wrong. I don't ever want to hear Daisy referred to as one of the bitches. Thank you, Ricky. Why did I let him stay? I don't know, he's really freaking hot. Can you blame me? So now I have four guys and two chains. Uh-oh, I'm one of the four. This is not good. Drop out. When I first saw you, you looked like you were really an awesome person. There's some style about you that is definitely similar to the guys that I usually like. But, I don't know, you're just maybe a little bit too goofy for me. And to be honest, drop out, I'm really sorry, but it's time for you to drop out. I let drop out go because I need a man who's sexy and hot and bad. And he just seems like, I don't know, a cartoon character. Thank you. I'm feeling pretty uh, surprised and shocked. I try to dance for her and like. That's all I try to do. And I'm a goofball for that. All right, whatever. Daisy. I have two chains and I have three guys. When I got down to the two passes, I'm feeling pretty good because I didn't think I made that much of an asshole out of myself. Oh, holy shit, like, this is bad, bad, you know? I'm freaking out, uh, I'm feeling like crap, I'm about to go home. I'm just a complete train wreck, man, uh, just a hot mess. One of you will be going home tonight. I have two chains, and I have 
Three guys. One of you will be going home tonight. I'm looking at two passes left. I'm thinking to myself, I'm definitely getting one of these. I'm looking around, and these guys, I don't know if they're going to be able to hang. Weasel, you seem to have been more in love with the bottle than you were with me. London, I was very, very, very extremely attracted to just by looks right off the bat. I was like, that guy, totally hot, very excited. Then, unfortunately, I found you, you like, in a crime scene, drunk, passed out. I made myself look like an asshole. If I could go back, I would have definitely kept myself in control and, and spent the night trying to, to make that connection with her instead of connecting with the Jack Daniels. Torch, you have a great style, but when we sat down to have a conversation, we were making some dolphin noises, like, ee, 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 and I don't really know what those clicking noises were about. <laughs> Canada, SeaWorld, I don't know. Weasel, can you please step down here? Because you did apologize to me, and you actually did try to make an effort to talk to me, unlike some people who just didn't make an effort to talk to me at all. I'm going to go ahead and give you another chance. But if you don't step it up and actually show that you're here for me and not for liquor, then you're definitely not going to be here anymore. So I would like for you to stay in this house and be my rock star. So I got my chain, but I said to myself, self, you need to get your shit tight. I'm thinking, get ready to pack your bags. You know, I remember Weasel getting kind of drunk, but uh, he obviously held it together a lot better than I did. Torch, can you please come down here? I have, a, I have a really good feeling, and I've got a really good chance that I'll be walking out of there with Daisy. I'm really sorry to say, but you just didn't light my fire. You know what? I just wasn't feeling his vibe, and I didn't even understand what he was saying. Coming. Thank you. I hope she names her heart, because the torch Still burning for her. London, will you step down here, please? All right. So I just want to let you know that the only rock star that's allowed to be laying on the floor, drunk and pass out, is me. So you need to take care of me if that situation occurs. So if you would like, because I would definitely like for you to stay in this house and be my rock star. Awesome. I'm definitely going to make the most of my second chance. A lot of times, first impressions are, are the final impressions. So I'm definitely going to be, you know, taking it up a notch. Thank you guys so much. We're going to have a great time, and I got some gifts for you. So, Ricky, if you would, please. I would be glad to. Yay. So the three amigos, Torch, and Dropout went home. So everybody come here and take a flask. Maybe not try to get to know these guys a little bit better, try to find out a little bit more, because this is a competition, and we're here to win Daisy. So people are going to go home, and it's not going to be me. Yeah. Propose a toast. Two Daisy. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, and one more thing, guys. Don't be stupid. Grind, All right, hey. I, can't believe I don't want you to take this the wrong <laughs> way, but bite your shirt. Watch this, Dad. Oh. Bite it. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Scrub your ass and you feet. There's a piece of your shirt. Oh, uh, I know. That's the same fucking kick-ass, brother. Love you.